The Ace Lab company is glad to announce a new universal adapter for monolith reading, which allows to recover data from damaged monolith devices without the necessity to use microsoldering. The central part of the spider board adapter contains the operating field for chip placement. It is surrounded by 25 needle-like pins ensuring pressed contact with the monolith outputs. Two screw connectors are used for connecting the GND and power lines. For connecting the ground and power lines, marked V2, selectable depending on the software settings, is one of the two available options. Fixed 5 volts or adjustable VCC from 1.8 to 3.6 volts. The adapter needle-like pins are technologically sophisticated connectors with interference immunity, designed specifically for working with monolithic flash devices. The needle diameter is designed as a trade-off between flexibility and stiffness, considering typical dimensions of conductors used in monolith layouts. As an example, let's consider the process of recovering a microSD card with 32GB capacity, manufactured by SanDisk. First of all, let's grind the monolith with a fiberglass pan for getting access to technological pinouts. Then, it's necessary to visit the Global Solution Center and find the appropriate pinout scheme with the same arrangement of technological pins. For your convenience, we recommended printing out the pinout scheme. At the next step, you need to arrange all the needle connectors on the surface of the monolith. Try to be patient, don't be in a hurry and get a good source of lighting. The needles have pointed tips enabling to connect them both to the large technological pinouts of monoliths and to separate conductors and holes, when no specialized contact points exist. When you are setting a needle onto the selected point, avoid tightening the thumb screw completely. Just turn it on off to achieve minimal pressure on the needle, so that it is fixed on the point and will not slide off when you proceed to setting the other needles. Tightening the thumb screw too much may result in damaging the coating of the monolith or damaging the needle itself. If possible, the power and ground contacts should be connected to monolith via multi-wire conductors with a diameter of at least 0.2 mm. In most cases, power is supplied to a monolith via its standard connector, SD or USB, which has quite large pinouts for conveniently soldering wires of the mentioned diameter. The spider board adapter has screw connectors for power and ground lines, which are convenient for repeated use. The spider board is connected to the PC3000 flash reader through its extension port. As soon as the spider board is connected to the PC3000 flash reader, you need to create a new task and start arranging the configuration of needles according to the printed scheme of pinouts. In our example, we should set 14 pins. 8 for the data bus line and 6 for the command lines. At the same time, it's not necessary to set power and ground on the needles, because the power will be supplied through the monolith standard interface and the screw connectors. As soon as you have set all the pins, you need to start testing the outputs for duplication and short-circuiting. When the test is successfully completed, you can be sure that all pins are set correctly and are not in conflict with each other. If you wish to continue working with the task after a while, it's possible to save the configuration of the outputs to a file for further use. In this case, the pins arrangement on the spider board should remain unchanged. Finally, you can start reading the ID of the NAND chip and start reading the data. However, before reading the chip image into a file, it is recommended to check the possibility of accessing data in direct reading mode. After checking, you can start reading the chip into the dump.